Usually I have an intro for my videos, this time I don't, but ain't no way James Harden just got traded to the Clippers. Right now it's 3.28 a.m. as I'm recording this. I was about to go to bed, but nope, the NBA just never sleeps. Now, I'm not surprised Harden did get traded to the Clippers because I always thought it was eventually gonna happen, but not tonight. All the reports from Shams or Woj or any Sixers and Clippers beat reporters were saying trade talks between the Clippers and the Sixers for Harden have been dead for weeks, but they finally got a deal done at the weirdest time possible. Like Harden was literally on the Sixers bench when they played the Blazers on Sunday, and it seemed like the vibes were good. Well, guess not. The trade package was the Clippers get James Harden, PJ Tucker, and Philip Petrusev. The Sixers get Marcus Morris, Nick Batum, Robert Covington, and KJ Martin. A 2028 unprotected first round pick, two second round picks, and a pick swap. With the Clippers side, they officially have the best point guard in the Kawhi and Paul George era. That position has been a revolving door. From Patrick Beverly to Reggie Jackson, Terrence Mann, and now to Russell Westbrook, who has been good since getting there last year but he's not on the same level as James Harden. Now before we get into the rest of the video I would appreciate it if you could like this video as it helps the video perform better in the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel I would gladly appreciate it and they were able to keep Terrence Mann somehow and he's a very solid role player. A Kawhi, Paul George, and James Harden trio is very scary. All of them can score from any area on the court. Yes Harden is not the scorer he was was a couple years ago but he is an elite playmaker which takes a lot of the playmaking load off Kawhi and Paul George. While both of them are solid playmakers, them being your best playmakers is not the most ideal in the playoffs. Now they add one of the best passers in the NBA. This just doesn't benefit them. This also benefits the center Zubak and Mason Plumley. Harden is gonna spoon feed them easy shots at the rim with Harden being one of the best pick and roll ball handlers in the NBA and Harden is going to create many open shots from deep for role players like Norman Powell, Terrence Mann, and PJ Tucker but I am concerned about the Clippers staying healthy because since joining the Clippers Kawhi and Paul George don't have the cleanest bill of health and James Harden has struggled staying healthy as well so this is a big gamble on all of them being healthy for a deep playoff run. This move is the definition of going all in to win now and the Clippers need to make the conference finals this season at minimum or this is a failure now for the Sixers sides it's simple as this they had to trade hard and him being there is becoming too much of a media circus plus Tyrese Maxey has been playing incredible so far this season the Sixers were like yeah we're done dealing with your stuff Harden the return they got back was not great but it was never going to be considering the circumstances with Harden and his trade request Nick Batum Robert Covington are good fits on this team Batum and Covington are good shooters from deep off the catch and they are versatile defensive wings especially with Covington who can play some minutes as a small ball center. The contracts of Batum, Covington, KJ Martin, and Marcus Morris all expire after this season, so the Sixers will have enough money to throw a max contract at someone this offseason like Pascal Siakam. Now, will Embiid have faith in Daryl Morey to make that happen, or will he request a trade this offseason? We will just have to wait and see.